What's going on, fellas? Uh, I wanted to do a quick video of the oil pump, the ASIN oil pump for 2JZ GTE. This is actually for the VVTi GE motor. Um, I wanted to do a comparison versus the ASIN versus the OEM Toyota Lexus part. Um, both of these are for the same model. Um, these are for VVTi GE um, for NAT guys who uh, want to run the crank position sensor of the GTE to get rid of the dizzy. Um, so I have both pumps in front of me. Both are brand new. Uh, this one, that's the part number from Toyota. And this one, I uh, don't have the part number on me, but it is from Rock Auto for a, I believe I did a 2002 GS300. But any of those VVTi 2JZ GE cars. Um, basically, it is the same exact pump. Um, so you see where it says Toyota here. On the ASIN pump, the Toyota is just ground off. Um, this pump here, I got kind of lucky. I got this one for $131, I believe, off of uh, eBay from all the way from, I think it came from the Emirates. Um, and this one is just off of Rock Auto. And as you can see, um, I looked at this pump very carefully. The casting marks even, like the casting imperfections, are even in similar locations on both. So you could see the imperfections there. Pretty friggin' similar on both pumps. I want to go out on a limb and say, so the, the ASIN one has this ink stamp. It says ASIN. Mm -hmm. I believe when they grind off the Toyota symbol, which is right here, they just stamp it with ASIN. And... There it is. And this one just obviously doesn't have the uh, the ASIN on there, but it does have the ASIN stamp here. Um, I see. Oh, one second. Let me see something here. We got four six zero nine one. Let's see if this one has it. And of course it does. Four six zero nine one. Now the point of this video is to show you that you don't necessarily have to spend the extra money for the OEM pump. It's the same goddamn pump in a different box with a different label. That's all it is. Um, for those of you who are looking to save a few bucks, this one was, again, like I said, I think this was like 86 bucks off of Rock Auto. And this one here was 130 and I've seen them go pretty high. I think 160 180 190 I've seen some ridiculous numbers on these things. Um, this is not the GTE pump. Uh, this is a GE pump. Uh, it's going on a 1.5, um, a 2J, a 1.5 build that we are switching the pump from a um, non-VVTi without the crank sensor to a VVTi with the crank sensor. Um, but the bottom end, obviously, the block is a GE block. So we did not want the higher oil pressure from the GTE oil pump because it doesn't have the squirters. And um, everyone that's had the GTE pump on a, not everyone, but a lot of people that had the GTE pump on a GE block uh, were having high oil pressure issues. So this is the correct pump if you're going NAT. Uh, the best pump, you know, the one you want to go with when you want to go NAT. But... Um, save you a few bucks and easily uh, at the very least it's about I think it's 50 bucks at the least so spend your money on other parts all right guys see you when I see you